that's it. Now let's go to plugins, then click add new. And in the search box, we're gonna type in rank math. And it's just this plugin right here. So let's click on install and activate. Then it automatically prompts us to connect our rank math account. So let's click on connect your account here. Now, because I've already created a rank math account, it kind of wants me to activate it for the old account, but I actually want to create a new account here. So I'm going to click on login here. And then uh, you probably don't already have a rank math account. So what you're going to do is click on register now here at the bottom. And then you can sign up for rank math using Facebook, Google, WordPress, or you can just use an email address. So I'm gonna click on use email address, then type in your name and email address and click on register, activate now, then make sure advanced is selected here and click on start wizard. Then we can say what kind of website we have. So I'm just gonna stick with personal blog. Then the website name is fine. Uh, we don't need anything here. This is also fine. Then logo for Google, you wanna upload a square version of your logo. So I'm gonna do that quickly now. There we go. And then for default social share image, this will just be displayed for when somebody shares your blog post and you don't have a featured image. But as I always add a featured image for the blog post, I'm not gonna add anything here. Then let's click on save and continue. And now in the next step, we're gonna add our website to the Google Search Console and also to Google Analytics. So let's click on connect Google services. And here we wanna choose our Google account that we wanna add our website to as a property. Once you're logged into your Google account, we wanna make sure to click select all here to give rank math access to all of our data. And then let's click on continue. And then here, if everything worked correctly, uh, rank math has now added your site to Google search console and Google analytics. So you should be able to see your site here and also your Google analytics account that they've created for you right here. Now, the first few times I've done this, I ran into some issues where I didn't see my website here, so I couldn't choose it. And if that's the case, what you wanna do, then you wanna first wait like 30 minutes to an hour. It, sometimes it takes some time until they can add your site to, to these services. If that still doesn't work, then you might wanna use another browser. As you can see here, I'm in Safari and not in Chrome as I usually am. And that's what worked for me actually. But if that still doesn't work, you have two more options. So the first one is to add your site manually to Search Console and Analytics. I'm gonna leave some instructions in the video description down below to show you step-by-step uh, -step how you can do that. Um, or you can also reach out to Rank Math Support and basically tell them that you need some help uh, adding the Google services for your website. But this is how it should look like if everything works correctly. So choose your site here, make sure enable the index status tab is enabled. And then for Google Analytics, we wanna choose the account here that they've created for us. Then for property, we wanna choose create new GA4 property that stands for Google Analytics 4. Um, so let's click okay here. And then here we wanna choose website. Then let's scroll down and click on save and continue. Then here for sitemap, we're gonna leave everything turned on and click on save and continue. And here as well, keep the default settings and click save and continue. And that's it. So let's click on return to dashboard. So now our website is successfully connected to all the Google services that we need. And now when we go to rank math and go to analytics, we should be able to see uh, the data for our site, like search impressions, total keywords, search clicks, and so on, that will be imported directly into this dashboard here from all of the Google services data that is directly fed into the rank math plugin. We can also go to site analytics here and SEO performance to see every data that is interesting for our website but it, it does take a couple of days the first time you set this up until the data will actually be visible here in the dashboard.